Hi, welcome to a new IT Business Essentials tutorial. My name is Carlos, and today we will talk about Microsoft Office, how to access it and use it completely free. This free service will let you use Office apps like a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. To start, we need to access the website office.com. We can use our favorite browser, like a Google Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. It will work regardless of the operating system that we have, Mac, Windows, or Linux. Let's jump into our computer and we will show you how to access it. If you want to easily find this or another of our videos in the future, please click the subscribe button. It also helps us to continue creating more videos like this one. Thank you. We open our browser and we are now within office.com. From here, we will be able to access the Office apps we will need a Microsoft account. If we have already one, like a Hotmail, Outlook.com, or maybe a, a, a Skype account, we can click on Sign In here on the upper right corner, and we will be able to access the Office apps. If we don't have any account, we can click on Sign Up for free version of Office. We can create a Microsoft account during the process, and then we will be able to access the Office apps. Here, we have this button that says Get Office, these options will allow us to download the Office apps. However, this option is a subscription with different plans, and for these options, you will need to pay. In our case, we are interested in the free version, so we click here on Sign In. We already have an account that is a demo account that we uh, create for this video. We enter our password, and we are now within our account where we can access and use the different Office apps. As we can see on the left side, we will see the different icons or the different apps that we can use with this free version. Right here on the center, we are seeing the recent documents or documents that we have recently opened or worked with. Here we can read, share with me. Those are files that if we click here, we'll see files that people have shared with us. In our case, we don't have any shared document. Then we can open, for example, Word, we will see here on top the different templates. We can use any templates and we can open more templates here on this button. If we want to open a Word document that we have in our computer, we can click here. We will be able to upload it and open it from here. We can search for the document and just select the document and we can open it. We can open a new blank document by clicking here on the plus sign. So here we can work in Word uh, with the different tools that it comes with usually with Word. We can change the name or give it the name to the document. It will be saved automatically within OneDrive. OneDrive is part of the services that comes with this free subscription. It comes with five gigabytes of storage. If we click here on the these little nine dots, we will be able to go back to the home page in our account with all the Office apps. We can open Excel, for example. And from here, we can open a document where we have worked before. If we want to save this document in our computer, we click on File, then click on Save As. And we will be able to download a copy of this document to our computer. When working in Microsoft Office online, you have this option here. You can click on share. You can enter the email address of the person who you want to share the document with. You can also click on copy link, copy here, and you will be able to paste this link in an email, and then you can share the document as well. The person who received this link, by clicking on the, on the link, he will be able to open this document. By clicking again in the nine little dots, can go back to our home page. And something else that I would like to show you is how to access OneDrive. Clicking here, this little cloud, and then you will access all your folders and files that you have stored in OneDrive. With this, we conclude today our video about Microsoft Office and how to access it and use it for free. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one in the future, click on the subscribe button. 
If you have any questions, just leave us a comment at the end of the video. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.